This is a Hot Pie Media Original. Hi, everybody. This is Dr. Eric Coram, founder of AIM7. Welcome back to The Blueprint, where we distill cutting-edge science, leadership, and life skills into simple tactics optimized for your busy lifestyle and goals. Today, registered dietitian and weight loss expert Amanda Nyber and I discuss the facts and fiction around carbohydrates. Do they make you fat? Do you need to consume them? And if so, when? But before we get into this discussion, please take two seconds and smash the subscribe button on whichever listening platform you are listening on, as this is one of the best ways that you can help support the podcast. But now, it's time to lean in and learn for the best. Amanda, got a big one for you today. In the, if you're a child of the 80s, 90s, 2000s, like you're a totally confused individual because we've been told fats are good for you, uh, carbs are bad for you, you know, all this kind of crazy nonsense. The big question is for, for you today, do carbs make you fat? <laughs> yeah, the, the million dollar question, right? <laughs> Uh, so, I mean, it's a little bit of a loaded question, Eric, but, um, you know, the bottom line is no one macronutrient makes you fat. Um, and that's the problem with nutritional guidelines, you know, beginning with our first set of nutritional guidelines, we set them up based on fear. You know, it began with the fear of fat and, you know, what happened was, is manufacturers ran with that, you know, that science, that bad science and created, you know, foods uh, around, you know, um, this whole notion of fat is bad for you. So it was like the fat free generation. But what happened was, is they took all the fat out of their food. And what did they add? Carbs and sugars. So it, it kind of backfired. Now and you have a story forward, around that, don't you? Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I had a, a, my pivotal moment in my health was my challenge of having cholesterol of over 300. And, um, you know, I was eating a low fat, low calorie diet at the time. And um, I did a complete reversal and started to focus more on whole food nutrition, healthy fats, you know, cutting back on my carb count because, because I was so focused on eating no fat, I was eating a ton of carbs and sugars. And it was really the inflammatory response from the carbs and sugars that were driving my, my cholesterol so high. So um, and, and it was finding that balance that really helped me to, you know, improve my overall health. But, um, so, you know, fast forward to today and now it's like, oh, okay, well maybe fat's not bad for you. Oh, it's all carbs. Carbs are bad for you. Mm -hmm. So now we are all focused on eating no carbs and the problem with carbohydrates and, and the focus of, you know, low carb and keto and, um, you know, that type of kind of lifestyle is again, it feeds into that all or nothing mindset where uh, people think carbs make you fat. And in reality, you know, a balanced amount of carbohydrates, which would be 150, 200, 250 grams a day for, for some people um, would not lead to weight gain at all. So it's this, you know, kind of, and what I see people doing is they'll go on low carb, you know, keto diets. And yeah, they're going to lose a lot of weight. I mean, we can talk about the impact of glucose and insulin, the number one fat storing hormone in the body and why carbs contribute to that significantly. But, you know, then Thanksgiving rolls around, Christmas rolls around, they indulge, overindulge in carbohydrates because they've been overly restricted. And then they, and kind they blow of, up. And yeah. And then they blow up. And they feel like, you know, that there's no middle ground. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, because when you consume carbohydrate, water is stored with it. And so when you go and that's a great thing, that is like a really, really good thing, especially if you're exercising. But if you go on a ketogenic diet, which I've tried before, you're going to shed a bunch of weight at the very beginning, at the very beginning, because you you're excreting a bunch of water. It's water. <laughs> yeah, that's all it is. And so. And also, I just want to highlight something. You talked about um, the power of carbohydrate and um, insulin. It's really important that you get carbohydrates around the window that you work out because insulin is an anabolic hormone as well. It helps with these anabolic processes. And so we don't need to demonize it. We need to put it in its right place. So when do you exactly. consume the most of your carbohydrates? 
Yeah. And I think that's important. And that's really what I try to teach my clients is what's an appropriate amount of carbohydrates. You know, again, we're either eating no carbs or eating way too many carbs. I mean, the average American eats 400 to 500 carbs a day. That's problematic. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, We're filming this in during the holiday season. And so um, a certain coffee chain just released their um, (laughs) fabulous holiday coffees. And I was sharing the sugar content of these coffees and people are like, I cannot believe it has 50 grams of sugar. You know, it has 75 grams of carbs. And I'm like, do not be fooled. You know, these are desserts, not your, you know, wake up in the morning. So people are just unaware of where, how many carbohydrates that they're eating. Um, So understanding like what that middle ground is, you know, like I usually say, you know, for women about 150 for men, anywhere from, you know, 200 to 250, it really just depends. Everybody's macronutrient needs are kind of different. So the other thing is, is understanding that, you know, we are less insulin sensitive in the evening. You know, our body is slowing down. Our metabolism is slowing down. It's getting ready for rest. So um, you'll notice that if you eat a lot of carbs, you know, later in the day, um, your blood sugar response is not as good as if you eat carbs earlier in the day. So, um, you know, uh, I like to eat a really big meal um, more so at lunch than I do at dinner. I like to incorporate more carbs in the morning and in the afternoon and have less carbs in the evening. And then, but it's not like I'm eating no carbs, you know? So it's about really creating that balance. I love it. I just love your practicality and how people don't have to feel guilty about these things. They should actually like, this is made by the earth. Like it's something that's good for your body. It's just like anything else. You can, you know, we can say fat's great for you, but if if you're just consuming the wrong types of fats all the time, you're going to have some problems. Um, if you, you know, consume the, in a disproportionate amount of carbohydrate and you're taking it at the wrong time, just moving things around in the day can make a tremendous impact. So if this is something that you really want to learn more about, you want to learn how to get a handle on this, I highly recommend Amanda's Lean program. I'll put some... Um, a link in the show notes where you can go check it out. I know you're doing something um, after Thanksgiving, and maybe this is something that would be great for you to do during the holidays. So if that's important to you, go check that out. Amanda, thanks for joining us today. I love being here. Thank you. If you found today's podcast valuable, please leave us a review and a comment on the Apple Podcast app. This is one of the best ways that you can help us grow the podcast, and we really value your feedback. Another way you can give us your feedback is to reach out to me by email at eric at ericquorum.com or DM me on Instagram at ericquorum. I'd love to know why you find the podcast valuable and what we can do to make it better. Thanks again for listening and I'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks for listening. You can find more episodes and all of our other Hot Pie Media originals baked fresh daily at our home online at hotpiemedia.com, the Hot Pie Media YouTube channel, or wherever you listen to podcasts.